Hi YouTube, it's Mag Marano, and I'm getting sick and I just feel awful right now, so this is going to be pretty short. I have no idea what I'm going to talk about, but I'll try to figure it out as I go. Um, one thing I do know is the music player that I showed last time. Uh, this is the Ice Cream Sandwich music player. It was released by Google, and it really doesn't change much as far as layout. You still got this pop-down window. Um, still have all like the little pictures. Um, I've noticed that loading is faster, uh, scrolling smoother, and when you like, well, not like that. If you open up something up with multiple albums, uh, it is a bit smoother. You know, actually like lined up right, and there's no more flashing or flickering or anything. Uh, this just annoys me. They have it, so you can do that. It makes it's way too close to the X, so it's really hard to hit it sometimes. Um, a new thing though is if like you're playing a song, um, you can, actually I don't think this is new, but you can go right to the market and you can search and stuff up top. Um, this, it used to like kind of flicker out of control when you paused, um, but that, that's fixed. Also the, the shuffle and the repeat. Those st settings, they don't like change every time you reboot or reboot the music player or anything like that like they used to. So if you turn them on, they'll stay on until you turn them off no matter what. Um, and then there's this new section in the market for music. Uh, it's the same as before, you got the genres, featured top albums, top songs. That's it for that, but there's also a few on this page. And there's free songs of the day, um, which is just a random song. But unfortunately, even with the free songs, you still need to put in your credit card information. So you'd have to do this, whatever. Um, but once you do that once, it'll stay on. And it won't actually charge you unless you buy something. But I mean, I'm just too lazy to put in my info, so... Yeah, whatever. Um, next, I'll, I'll just go into the My Library, which is... Asus's version of, like, I think it's Google Books. Um, I don't know where, there it is. So this is what Google gives you standard, it's books. Unfortunately, like, how it is, you can't read anything offline unless you make them available offline by doing this. And then you check, actually, I think I have, yeah, I have both of those available offline. I don't know why I don't read them, but. Um, so then you can go in. Change pages just like normal. Uh, it's got this little quick slider. Go to whatever page you want. Um, change the book quickly. Font size, uh, chapter list, search, and then you got your settings. Um, I like my library a bit more because, uh, first of all, it does any ebooks on your device. It's not just like ones that they recognize or whatever. Um, it takes a bit to load this top stuff because it it goes by I forget what it goes by. But but it needs to like recalculate it every time. Oh that's why it wouldn't work. I was on the first page. Um but anyway this still has the slider, gives you the page number. Um so now this is loaded, now you can have it read it out to you. Go away. Okay, it doesn't want to work, but it it can read it out to you. Um, it's pretty much the same book kind of picture here. Uh, to change the font, you just use the plus and minuses here, uh, and then you can you can search for words or like a certain title, whatever. You can actually place a bookmark on certain pages. Um, I don't know. That's really it. I just like it because the bookmarks, because that would make it a lot easier if you are reading. Um, what else? I think I already showed the new Netflix layout. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, but I'll just go into it quick in case you haven't seen it. Um, this is now optimized for tablets, so you got these like sliding pictures. Um, with all the titles, 
and stuff, so it looks a lot better and it's a lot more tablet optimized. Um, also, as far as my rooting goes, I got a new uh, app made for the revolver ROM that I'm running. It's called um, Damien Overclock, and you can actually get it from Revolver Parts, which is the app for Revolver. It's under Kernels, and it's this last one that it Overclock Damien or Damien, whatever it is. I don't, I don't know. But I'm running the Prime Overclock Kernel, and that's I'm running it at 1.2 gigahertz, and it's really stable. Um, I've noticed it; it has improved like smoothness a little bit on, you know, changing pages web pages, loading time, stuff like that, but it's nothing too major. Um, I don't know, that's really pretty much it. Sorry this is so short, I'm just in a really bad mood. And whatever. So, thank you for watching this. Please don't give it a thumbs down. You don't have to give it a thumbs up, just do nothing, whatever, I don't care, I know it's a bad video. But, I didn't do a weekly review last week, so I had to have one this week. I didn't expect to be feeling this bad, so, um, anyway, that's it. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, and see you later.